Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the sweet hour of prayer. Listen, I believe that we are on the verge of sustaining revival, sustainable revival, a revival that will actually continue on after you and I are gone. And I'm talking about a whole reformation of the government, of business, of media, entertainment, education, uh, even of our churches. It's something magnificent that God is doing in the earth. And really, <clears throat> it all stems from the throne, doesn't it? In Ezekiel chapter 47, there's a, a river <laughs> that, that makes glad uh, the children of God, right? But it's the river of life <clears throat> that river that millennial river that ezekiel saw and was a partaker of i mean he said listen i went out a thousand cubits and it was to the knees a, a thousand more it was to the waist and as i went further it, there were waters to swim in he said and, and everywhere this river went things that were dead mind you started to live but where is the origination <clears throat> where was the origination of the throne of uh, or the of the river where did the the river come from the bible says that that river came from the throne of god that's how that river of water, of life water, was able to make those things that were dead, the fish that were dead, like this, was able to quicken them, was able to make them alive, was able to just bring life wherever that river went. And we do realize that um, Jesus Christ to the Samaritan woman was talking about this same river. However, it's a river that is now in the belly of all believers all around the planet. It's beautiful, beautiful. So I said that to say this, that life stems from the throne. You do not have to accept things the way they are. Remember, this is the fallen world. But remember, we have a risen Lord and we are risen with him. So James chapter four and verse seven, let's go ahead and enter into a time of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word, Lord, that in itself, Lord, we can just take one verse and spend an eternity on it, Lord. But we just want to squeeze out whatever you want us to squeeze out in this verse of scripture to equip your saints lord equip them to submit themselves to you and to resist the devil in all forms we thank you for your goodness your grace <laughs> and for your mercy and for the rivers that flow out of our belly because of you in jesus name Amen. And so we are again in James chapter 4 and verse 7 simply because we would like, we would like to bring ourselves, and this may be the conclusion of James chapter 4 and verse 7, folks, we really want you to realize what the Lord is talking about here because he's talking to you personally. All right. James chapter four and verse seven, it, it says this. OK. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Don't just submit to anything, but submit yourselves to the Lord. Don't submit yourselves to an ordinance of man, but submit yourselves to the Lord. Don't submit yourselves to. Huh? It says, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. Do you know what resist means? All right. 
Resist means to push against. Remember that your muscles need some sort of resistance in order for those muscles to continue on to help you, to help you walk, to help you open and close the refrigerator door, to help you do all manner of things, of activity. Your muscles need resistance. Right now, I'm resisting. Right now, you see that? Huh? That is an act of resistance. Resistance makes you stronger. Have you ever made a goal to lift a certain weight? And then as you continued to resist, right? To have those muscles resist, it just kept getting easier and easier and easier. And so now, right, whereas before you couldn't lift 120 pounds, now you can lift 220 pounds. Or how about this? Before you couldn't walk six miles or nine miles, but now because of that resistance, <laughs> now you can walk 10 miles, now you can walk 15 miles, 20 miles. Perhaps some of you are marathon runners because of resistance. Resistance is very key to the building of your muscles, whether it's heart muscles or whether it's your tendons in your arms or your legs, okay? Even your brain, all right? And so the Bible is actually showing us, hey, 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 don't just relegate that to the physical. James here by the Holy Ghost is saying, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil. Exercise authority over the enemy because as you exercise your authority that God has given you remember you're yielding yourself to God and so it is God that is in you to resist the enemy and when you do that the enemy flees now as you keep resisting you actually get stronger the easier it is to resist mm -hmm. now will there be more weights put on quote unquote, right? Will there be more challenges? Yes. But as you keep submitting yourself to God and resisting, huh? there will be a new version of you. A version that can not only pick up 120 pounds, now it can pick up 220 pounds. Why? Because it's been resisting on a continual basis for so long. And that's where the Lord wants us in this season. This season, we are to resist the right way, huh? Not by carnal means. No, 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 no. Not using carnal weapons, all right? Not standing up with signs and saying, you need to stop your power grab, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. <laughs> but by lawful means, but by praying and writing yourself, communicating. Remember Paul said, Let's communicate. Let's not forget to communicate. Letting them know. Hey, writing your senators and letting them know. How about informing the electorate? You want things to change in your government? Saints, that's what you're there for. You're there to resist the tyranny and to teach people how to resist the tyranny as well. Hmm? Not only on the outside, outside tyranny, but also on the inside. Why? So that freedom can be holistic. We have 1,189 chapters in the Word of God because God wants us to experience holistic freedom. We have 1,189 chapters because God wants us to experience holistic healing. Holistic victory. What does holistic mean? All around. Spiritually free. Spiritually healed. Mentally free. Mentally healed. Physically free. Physically healed. Socially free. Socially healed. All right. That's why we submit ourselves to God and resist the devil so that he could flee and that we can be free. Now the Lord is that spirit. And wherever the spirit of the Lord is, 
there's what? There's liberty. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.